Hello, welcome to this lesson. I'm Jason with CodeLearner.com. Here we're going to really get down into some fundamental uh, ideas of Java and we're going to learn about variables and specifically we're going to learn about integer variables which is the most common variable uh, you're going to use it constantly over and over so first I want to let you know and kind of drill in what a variable is it's just a memory location that you define where you can change values so you may have a for instance a, a database of addresses or a listing of addresses well the uh, the phone number or the address number assigned to that house is going to be something you're going to store and so that might be a variable if that person moves to a different house then you might change the value of that uh, address uh, so that would be overriding that location over and over again so we use variables all the time anytime we're storing something where we think we're going to update it uh, in the future it may change in the future so an integer is a type of variable and an integer is a whole number and you can see that in Java uh, integers are very large between negative uh, 2,147,483,648 all the way up to this very very large number right here so uh, integers in Java are very 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 large so you can essentially think of them as positive and negative whole numbers now we're going to get into this in just a second but you must declare variables before you use them so if you want to have a variable named uh, uh, first name let's say you're writing an address book if you want to have a variable named first name then you're going to need to declare it and then you can assign a value to it if you want to create a variable for the age of someone then you need to declare that tell Java that you want to use that variable then you can use it so let's jump right in and talk about this so if I want to declare an integer then I need to notice I'm inside the main method so everything in here is where our program is going to execute uh, if I want to declare an integer I need to type the keywords int and hit a space and notice that uh, Eclipse is uh, color coding that to tell you you're declaring a variable let's say that the variable let's just be clever and say I'm going to call it variable one then I need to terminate that with a semicolon right so that is variable one alright so now we have declared the variable when we say we must declare variables that is what this is doing it's telling Java create an integer variable and name it variable one I could name this anything I want I could name it Christopher Columbus or you know Jason Gibson I can name it anything I want so we have declared that variable now that we've declared it we need to put a value into that variable so you assign a value to that so you just do this just like for math class so you say variable one equals nine and hit a semicolon now notice that we've declared the variable up here and then we've put the uh, value of the variable equal to nine down below alright so now we're we're doing well so far let me go ahead and save it now at this point if we run the program not much is going to happen um, no output is going to happen all we've done is create a variable and stored a value the number nine into that variable um, but we've output nothing so the program doesn't seem to do anything although it is actually creating that variable for us so now let's go ahead and learn how to output these variables to the screen because in many cases you might want to display output so you will use our friendly system dot out dot print ln like this and then inside here maybe I want to type in the value of variable one is and I'll put a colon okay so this is just text the value of, of variable one is everything between the quotes that's just text so we know that that's gonna print if I hit run then we get that on the on the uh, console what we need to do is tell Java to put the value you know over here after the colon so the way you do that is you put a plus sign like this you can put a space if you want separate it plus sign and then you type variable one like that this is telling Java print this text and then the plus sign means get ready there's there's going to be a variable coming right this is not in quotations this is just the name of a valid variable that we have already defined we've already created and it's going to put that value for us. so let's save it and let's go ahead and run it you can see the value of variable one is nine right is nine if you want a space after the colon and you might want to hit a space right there you can save it and run it again you can see you have a space there so get used to this idea because you're doing text the plus sign after the quotations you close your quotes off the plus sign says here comes a variable and when you put a variable name into the print line statement it's going to take the value of that variable and it's going to print it out for us 
All right. So that's the most basic way to use variables in Java. Now let's go ahead and create another couple of variables and see how we can augment this further. Let's go ahead on the next line and say, let's create another integer, integer, uh, and we will call it variable two uh, there. And let's go ahead and create, in fact, we don't want spaces in our variable names. We need to keep everything together. Let's do integer variable two and let's do integer variable three like this. OK, and in fact, you see, we can define it like this, no problem. But you know what you can do in Java is you can go back and you can put a comma and you can say variable three like that. So now we've declared an integer variable. We have two different names separated by a comma. Notice we have to have our semicolon at the end of the line. Now we can we can compile this, no problem, and we can uh, run it. We see the output there. Now we've created all three of these variables. Now we need to do an assignment. So let's say variable. 2 is equal to 24 semicolon that terminates that line variable 3 is equal to 16 semicolon that terminates that line all right and let's go down below this print line statement we're already going to get a carriage return a line uh, a line feed or, or I should say uh, basically a, a line uh, termination there going on to the next line so let's go ahead and do system out print line like this and now we will say uh, variable two is, then we need to put a, we'll put a space there, then we'll put a plus sign and we'll tell it to output variable two. Then we put another plus sign and we can say variable, now we can say variable three is, and outside this quote we put a plus variable three like this. Notice what's happening. We say quotation mark variable two is with a space. Then we put the value of variable two. Variable three is we'll put a space here, uh, here. Now let's go ahead and just to be clever, we'll put a comma here. So let's go ahead and hit save and let's run this guy and see what happens. Now you can see what happens here. It's going to take everything you do literally and put the comma after the word is and then it put a space because we had it there and it just doesn't quite look formatted. What we want to do is take this colon out, a comma out rather, put a comma here uh, like this. Now let's go ahead and save this and see what that looks like. Variable tw 2 is 24, var comma, variable 3 is 16. And that's exactly what we have lined up on the screen. So the point of this lesson is to teach you a couple of things. You can create these integers. You can assign values to them. You can output them to the screen uh, by using the plus thing. And you can also, we can go down here, system.out.print like this. Uh, you don't have to put any text at all. If I just want to output variable three see there's no text here at all i just put it inside of the print statement i go and hit save i can go ahead and run that guy and this is a good example you see here eclipse is warning me there's an error and of course the most common error in java is that you forget a semicolon so let me hit that again and we can see that we have the first sentence with our values the second sentence with our value and the third output to the console is just the value of variable three with no text because all we did was pass the name of the variable inside of the print function now there's one final thing I want to point out to you before we close the section out, and that is, it's a nice feature of Eclipse. Notice if I hover over variable three here and give it a single click and wait a second, I'm going to highlight variable three and notice that Eclipse is also highlighting variable three up here. It's hi highlighting variable three over here and it's also highlighting it over here. Many times when you're writing code, you're going to want to know where all of your variables are. Like what if you had to make a change for some reason? What if you wanted to rename this variable? Let's call it variable 10 or something. Well, it'd be nice to, you know, instead of going find and replace throughout your code or just scanning the code, I can just click on on variable two, for instance, and it will highlight. Now it's not highlighting everything here, um, but it is highlighting the variables. Where notice it's not highlighting variable one here because that's part of this string. But anywhere, in, anywhere where the variable is off by itself, either as a declaration, as an assignment, or here in a print statement, it's going to highlight that for you. So that about does it for this lesson. Very, very important lesson. Just notice that. Variables are used constantly in programming. You're constantly going to be giving values to them, printing them out, comparing them, and so on. A type of variable is called an integer, very large range of values. You declare them, then you make assignments, and you can use them in your print statements as we have here. Go on to the exercises, practice those uh, exercises, and get proficient with variables in Java.